enough. If you never get married, you enough. If you never pass that law degree, you enough. If you never become a doctor, you enough. If you never get married, you enough. If you never have a child, you are enough like you are. And that's why God created you. You are enough. Y'all got to start loving your life. Be comfortable on who you are. If you come from a family right now that's broke, use that to your advantage. I use that to my advantage that I was a high school dropout, that I was homeless, that I ate out of trash can. I, I love dealing with a dude who think because he come from money, he better than me. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. You got money, but do you got that dog? Yeah, you got money, you got print, but do you got that dog? Do you got that stamina? So yeah, you might have something I don't have right now, but if I work hard, I can have what you have. Effort, effort is the reason why effort is isolated, because nobody can dictate. Effort is 100% in the mind. No coach, no player, nobody else can make you run to the ball. Nobody else can make you finish the tackle. Nobody else can do it. And when you finally figure it out, how to win real battles, it's final through fundamentals. That's what wins championships. That's what wins battles. Blocking, tackling, blocking, tackling. And till they get tired, because you don't know what tight feels like. The reason most people fail is because they give up what they want most for what they want now. We've got to be excited about the future. We've got to do things that make us want to live. It cannot always be about problems every day. I mean, do you want to wake up every morning and everything's just a problem? Well, what, in what inspires you and what makes you excited about the future? There's got to be some things like that. Self-confidence is really someone who keeps promises to themselves because self-confidence is really like your reputation with yourself. If you've got a great reputation with yourself, you know you can trust you, you're not so concerned about your reputation and what other people think about That's you. That's right. So if you're always worried about what people think about you, it's because you really don't think great about yourself. And you don't think great about yourself because you lack self-confidence. And you lack self-confidence because you keep not keeping the promises you make to yourself. So my confidence came from my preparation and from my consistently doing the things I told myself I was going to do. So I built this reputation where I trust me. And that was where my confidence comes from. You meet somebody wealthy, their family at one point was not wealthy. And then the one shows up, the one. One person changed the family tree forever. In my family, I'm the one. And it wasn't because I wanted it or I hoped for it. I fought for it. I want to win. I want to fight for my family. I want my mom and dad proud of me. I want my kids proud of me. I want me proud of me. I want to look in the mirror and be happy with the man I look back at. That he gave it everything, that he went for it. They print money, they don't print time. They don't print opportunities. You can lose money and get it back. You can't get time back. You can't get experiences back. Worship getting your time back with your family. Average people focus on money. The greats focus on time, because I can't get my time back. What do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You gotta outgrind them. You gotta get up earlier. You gotta stay up later. You gotta execute and you gotta go from 70 to 120.